it's Jasmine. So today I am bringing you guys my classic holiday look. This is very simple and I feel like anybody can do it. I use a little bit less product I feel like than I normally would have because to be honest I don't feel like full full beat even though I look full beat because of the red lip. Um, but this look is just so stunning and I did do a similar look um, in one other video on my channel and everybody was requesting that I filmed a video on it so this is that video <laughs> months later <laughs> um, so I hope you guys all enjoy the look and if you can see how I got it then please keep on watching I gotta get ready I have school to go to so let's get started I have two primers with me so I have the shop Miss a wonder skin in the I was going to say in the mattifying shade, but it's the mattifying one. And then I also have my ColourPop All-Star Blur Primer. I'm going to focus the All-Star all around my face as well as the Chamisei one, but I'm going to focus that one towards the center. I'm going to be using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. I'm in the shade True Beige. I really like this stuff and I have no reason why I'm picking this up today. Because um, typically when I use this foundation, I use it on days where I have places to be, but I don't know. It was just, I haven't used it on its own in a minute. So let's just go ahead and apply this to the face. And I'm going to blend this in with my Japanese sponge. When you are wearing this foundation though, I highly recommend that you have a hydrated base underneath. And I know everybody should have a hydrated base, but this foundation in particular, it dries down really fast and it gets really matte. I could have sworn I had my concealer with me, but I guess I don't. So in areas that I need more coverage, I'm just going to add more foundation, simple as that. And I'm going to go ahead, apply it under my eyes. A little bit on the nose and a little bit on the chin. For just my under eye area, I'm going to take the Joa Banana Powder and I'm just going to take this on the sponge right on the tip and get it right under the eye. I'm not going to bake it, I'm just going to set it so just continuously pat it in. And this created a mark on my skin. That's what we're going to do today, huh? This is what I get for trying fake Korean beauty. Hmm. Still trying to use up this Maybelline powder, you know. <laughs> Love that. I'm also fully aware I look like a man when I have my hair back like this, but you know, what can you do? Zoomed you guys in because we're gonna go into this section now. So I'm just gonna do my regular eyebrow routine with my ABH brow pomade. And you guys already know, I have to always apply brow powder into my eyebrows. I think it just looks better. So the one that I'm using is the one by Malibu Glitz, the one that I got from the Shop Miss Eight website. Taking the lightest shade and I'm doing hair-like strokes in the beginning of my eyebrow. So if you guys watched my $12 Huda palette dupe, then you guys know that I talked about the Prism Supreme Seductress palette, and I told you guys that this one was my absolute favorite. This is what it looks like inside, and I'm just gonna go into more so the cooler tones um, because I wanted to work with a very simple eye look. So I'm gonna go in first with the shade Call Me right here, and I'm gonna pop that into my eyelid. I'm going to take this shade called Date Night and I'm going to pop this all over my eyelid and into my crease. I'm going to deepen up my crease with this one called Pickup Line and this is the Sigma E25. I'm going to pop this into my crease. I know that this is a warm color, but I thought that it would work a little bit better as opposed to going in with a gray because that is the darker shade on the other side of the palette where it has all the cool tones. I'm going to move into this contour kit by Shop Miss A. This is their Lotus palette and I'm going to take the middle contour bronze shade and I'm going to go ahead and continue to deepen up my crease because this shade is pretty neutral as opposed to being either cool or warm. And then I'm going to go back into the initial transition shade which is called Date Night from the Prism palette and I'm just going to apply this onto my eyelid to make sure that it's at its full opacity. Since this eye look is really simple as far as eyeshadows are concerned, I'm going to make a really nice long eyeliner wing <laughs> with my Physicians Formula eyeliner. That was a really weird sentence, um, but you guys get the point. I'm going to just make a long wing. 
Lower lash line is gonna be pretty simple. I'm just gonna play around with Date Night and then the contour shades from the Shop Missé palette, making sure that it's really smoky down there and it's all cohesive. So this is what I am left with. Now I low-key wanna go into a gold in my inner corner. And since I'm holding this highlighter, I might as well use it in my inner corner. It's the Real Her Keep Going highlight, one of my favorites. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. I'm gonna use my Shot Missane mascara, and then I'm going to use this one by Lash Kitty. It's the Workflow Lashes. Um, I'm not going to do it on camera. I'm just gonna do it off camera, and I'll be right back. I love these lashes. Damn it. Damn it. These are my favorite eyelashes. I love them. They're in collaboration with OMG Lashes. Hello, girl, you did the damn thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my face with the contour palette. This one is the Ulta brush that I got in that one video where um, I did like a full face of Ulta. I don't like this stone. Anyway, we're, <laughs> we're gonna go into a different brush for that. I'm just gonna take the middle, maybe I'll mix them. Oh yeah. That's better. That Ulta brush works really well on really densely packed or really pigmented powders. If something is just very soft and easy to blend, it doesn't pick it up as well. So if you have that brush, it doesn't have a number on it, but if you have a brush from Ulta and you're wondering why it sucks, then it's probably why. I brought back my favorite blush, the MAC Trace Gold. Remember when I used this all throughout my senior year? Remember that? And it was the only blush I liked that was high end. Man, it's still really nice, still really pretty. It blends into the skin really well. And then for the highlight, the one that I was using all throughout, you know, me holding it, I'm gonna use the Real Hair Keep Going. And this one I'm gonna apply with the Sigma F03. I want my face to be a little bit more golden, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I'm gonna take this on a smaller brush. I'm gonna smile, and I'm gonna apply it to my cheek like this. It's gonna make it a little bit more wet and a little bit more intense, which is something that I kind of have been living for as of recently. I'm going to slightly contour the sides of my nose with the lightest shade in the palette. Not gonna be a huge nose contour, just a little, a little shadow. Because I want this look to kind of be like simplistic face, uh, simplistic eyes, and kind of a lash and lip focus. We have the iconic, and probably you have it, the iconic MAC Ruby Woo. I feel like everybody owns this, so that's the reason why I chose to use it in this video. So it's just a really nice matte red that literally lasts all day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it. Hope you guys all really enjoy. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and sending in your holiday video idea requests. I do have a lot more full glam looks, but I wanted to start off with something that was fairly easy to do, and I think that this is pretty standard. So I hope you guys all enjoy, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Peace out, Girl Scouts. <laughs>